actually, please just punch to get this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comics have come a long way, so much of art has come a long way. Uh, when I was a kid, if you, the idea of anybody getting an award or a grant or something like this was pretty, pretty rare. Um, until a guy named Art Spiegelman won a special Pulitzer Prize for a graphic novel called Mouse and really transformed, I proved my personal feeling is he really transformed the perceptions of what comics can do. So in my case, I'm doing, I, I've done this sort of fairly serious work with comics dealing with mental illness and what have you in the past. So this one is different. This one is an actual, it's called Metal Gods. It's a heavy metal themed comic. Um, and it's an action and adventure comic. Um, and what I'm hoping to do with it, and we'll see, a couple of issues are out now. It actually just launched last week, so the timing of this is really neat. But um, I'm actually going to be tackling some economic issues and some social issues as we go forward with it. So it's a neat opportunity to sort of hopefully hook people with kind of a straight ahead action story. And then, um, I mean, we're living in major times of austerity. Uh, particularly in the United States, when you look at something like Detroit or Cleveland or Camden, it's remarkable what's happening in North America. And um, it's sometimes, um, particularly with academic work, when people try to handle this, it's, it's tough. There's a distancing effect um, from people I've talked to anyway that it makes it hard to connect it with their everyday lives. And I actually think fiction in many ways is a great tool to sort of play with that. And um, bring some compassion to work. I'm a big fan of Star Trek, particularly the Gene Roddenberry Star Trek from the 1960s. <laughs> and I think that there's a, a degree of um, compassion that you can bring in, even in a comic called Metal Buzz. So that's what I'm working on, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>